Hey, this video is going to be about pursuing character change. And to start with, let me just say, if you're a person who doesn't feel like you have any character flaws and you're perfect, go ahead and X out right now. But for the rest of us, we'll go ahead and talk about it for a few minutes. I'll just let you go ahead and go. So for those of us that remain, and we realize that we have character flaws and we'd like to change them, maybe we have temper issues or um, commitment problems. I mean, we just don't care for people the way we think we should care for people. Um, I found myself in this position years ago, and I'm not saying that I'm perfect at it by any means now. And um, I was in my uh, late 20s, and I'm like, you know, I have a lot of problems here. And uh, I read the Bible a lot. And there were sections of the Bible where it talked about, you know, Hey, the, you should have uh, love toward people. You should have patience, you know. Um, uh, you should be uh, not quick-tempered, things like that. And I was like, man, I am really nowhere near where I need to be. So um, I thought, well, I know what I'll do is I'll write all of these things down and on a sheet of paper, and I'll put them on my music stand in front of me while I teach a band class, and I'll keep these things in front of my head all the time. And that way I can work toward having these positive character qualities. And he, this is an approach that, that was really made famous by Benjamin Franklin a long time ago, uh, where he had his uh, 13 character traits and he would rate himself day by day. Did I do this? Did I do that? Did I do this? Did I do that? I uh, sort of kept score on himself. And so that's kind of what I did. And then um, over a period of time, I really wasn't making any progress at all. I was just feeling really guilty. Because I was realizing I, I wasn't doing well. No matter what, I just seemed to continue to do poorly. Um, and then one day I was uh, reading it again in the Bible in a passage and it said that the fruit of the Spirit is, and then it had all these different character qualities, which I did not have and I still continue to struggle with. And uh, I was reading through them and feeling guilty. And uh, for some reason, though, I was drawn back to the very beginning where it says the fruit of the Spirit is. And um, I began to sort of mull on the idea of fruit and how is fruit produced. And uh, as I thought about it, I was like, well, fruit, you know, it comes from fruit trees, you know. And um, what makes fruit trees produce fruit? Well, first off, they're a fruit tree. That's kind of what they do. And secondly, they will produce fruit if they're healthy. Like, for example, um, we planted an avocado tree years ago at a place where we used to live. Nothing grew and it was beautiful. Never made avocados. So obviously it didn't, it wasn't healthy in some way. Or rather, let's think of it differently. It may have been healthy, but it lacked some of the nutrients that it needed to go ahead and make the fruit that it needed to make. So a fruit tree, if, if it's if it's got the nutrients that it needs, it's healthy. And if it's in the right season, because, you know, fruit trees, they bear during certain times. They don't bear during other times. If it's if those things are off, if it all falls in line, then you get fruit. And I was like, yeah. And then I thought more about it. I was like, like you know, you don't walk by a fruit tree and, and hear it going, you know, trying really hard to make fruit. I'm going to make fruit today. Today's the day I'm going to make fruit. Today's the day. You know, the fruit tree doesn't have a little checklist next to it going, well, I, you know, I, I didn't make any oranges yesterday. Um, you know, I, I had a few blossoms, but I never really got to the oranges. You know, it's just healthy. And if it's healthy, has the nutrients that it needs, and it's in its proper season, then it makes fruit. And so I started thinking, well, maybe I'm going about this completely wrong. Maybe it's not about trying to have all of these positive character traits and trying not to have the other character traits, but rather it's about being someone different. Jesus tells us in the Bible that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You know, the, the abundance of your character produces actions. Now, if you start thinking of things that way, it changes everything. Um, first off, some of the guilt goes away. I mean, you, because you, it's not that you, you know, it, 
The reason you're not getting the fruit you want isn't because you're not trying hard enough. It's because down at the roots, you possibly are not anchored down into the right places. So then I had to re-examine where I was anchored into. And again, not perfect, okay? But the more that we're anchored down, and as a Christian, where do we need to anchor into? Well, we need to anchor into God, okay? And there's another spot in the Bible where Jesus says, I'm the vine, you're the branches. You can't do anything without me. It's got to flow through me and into you, and then out come the grapes, okay? So you're not making the grapes unless you're connected with me, and then it comes through. The fruit comes through. So you've got to be anchored down in. So how do I do that? Well, I think you already know how to do that, right? I mean, if, if you're a Christian, you got to read the Bible, you need to pray, worship God, be around other believers, and stay rooted in. Forget the guilt. Forget the guilt. You've already confessed your sins if you're a Christian. You've already gone in through that. So now you've got to anchor down in, be patient. Now, you might not be getting fruit because this is not the season. So it's just, you know, you, you want to be bearing certain fruit, but God, he's just like, you're not quite in season yet to be bearing that fruit. Um, and again, you might not be bearing fruit because um, you're, you're in an unhealthy situation, unhealthy relationship, and you're not being able to draw those nutrients up. Might not be bearing fruit in certain areas because that's not the, that's not the fruit tree he's made you into. It so might be that he wants a different kind of fruit out of you. And, and, and as I speak, I don't even exactly know what that might be, but maybe as you're watching this, you can think of it. And you're like, well, yeah, maybe I'm trying to sort of be more focused on this type of fruit, but he actually wants to produce this fruit instead. I'm not even going to give you examples. To, I, you're just going to need to dig that out. But I think there's something there. You know. So again, so just summarizing what I said, you want to have these changes in your life. You're not getting them. The guilt is not helping. The guilt is not going to make it better. Okay, You've got to get yourself rooted down in to God. You've got to get into the Bible, get into prayer, meditate on his word, get around Christian believers, fellowship with him, worship God. Um, and when we do those things, I absolutely know that we will begin to produce fruit, natural fruit, it comes from God through us. Hope this helps.